Hello and welcome back to our Surrounded Challenge Norland series. And if you are new to the channel or this series, you can check the description for an explanation of this challenge series and its rules. But of course, as always, I do recommend going and checking out those previous episodes if you haven't. And in the last episode, well, I'll, I'll just I'll just let this speak for itself, huh? That is a major, major change. We were expecting to possibly have to defend Dust Valley, and instead we went and acquired four entire new fiefs, dismantling the Stardale Growing Kingdom. And now they are down from 51 soldiers all the way to 24. Unfortunately, we did lose Unetra, our, uh, our first wife. But, you know, um, as sad as that is, of course, she was a knight. It, it was her, her duty, you could say, to actually give her life for Amraur and his dreams. Dreams of uniting the world of Norland, mostly through trade, but now, apparently, in the second half of his life, through conquest. And there are a few things that I have changed, mainly the lumber mill over here uh, I moved because they weren't really cutting anything down over here. We actually can just get rid of this road now. No real need for that anymore. I don't even know if we really need it to go this way anymore either, but... Uh, well, actually, yes, because at the end of the day, they're going to want to go over here. Actually, wait, hold on. We don't need this road anymore, because they'll just, they'll just walk over here anyways. Probably just only really need it to be like this. And then something like... It's going to look a little funky. But we'll just do something kind of like this, and that'll get them over to the tavern. Well, I guess they actually have to go first. Wow, this is really going to look funky, but I mean, at this point, do we even really look inside the city anymore? Not very much. Um, we also started another barracks. Uh, what else? We set this peasant house up, this one single peasant house. And that's really about it, I think. Of course, we have that new temple. And yeah. Um, so most of what we're going to be doing in this episode is just kind of managing our vassals. Uh, we'll do a little bit of trade. We have 20 prisoners. At any point, we could start a trade route if somebody doesn't hate us enough. But right now, pretty much everybody hates us. So we're going to be going around giving people gold, trying to hunt with them, and that sort of thing. And that's going to kind of be, uh, what we do. And... Yeah, nobody, nobody's going to want to trade with us. Uh, what about you? No. We could even accept this trade proposal, but that'll extend uh, the amount of time before we can attack Stardale by 10 days. Not really something I'm looking forward to doing. Even for 700 gold, that would be a free 700 gold. They're just like, please don't, please don't kill us. We'll give you 700 gold. It's kind of like a tribute at that point. So I'd rather just conquer them, honestly. So we're waiting for Amrower to get to Starstream, and then we will move forward with our plans. Now there are some bandit camps, and we don't have a great relation with our matriarch at the moment, so we might as well go and attack those. Uh, we'll send Lyra, of course. But we'll have to reset up her squad, because most of these people are injured. I don't know why they haven't taken their medical cells yet. That's, uh, we don't even need this many. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. This is way more than we need. Uh, we'll do five. That's definitely going to be more than enough. Hey, look, we got a couple of crossbows. I guess that must have been from our battles. That's kind of nice. We have two free crossbows. Unless we made them ourselves. I don't think we've... Yeah, we haven't set that up yet. Needs steel, so... Production halted. Not too sure what that's about. And he's happy with that gift. That's good to see. 
we'll go ahead now and try to flesh wolf hunt. Okay, so that didn't really seem to actually improve our relation very much, and we don't, we do have more flavorful ale, so we could do another, another offering here. Uh, or we could just give up on the idea of actually starting a trade with them and just kind of try to make uh, our vassals not completely hate us. We could. Uh, we can't do that, that's right. I actually do want to try and do a run maybe at some point. I think it's persuasion. So that you can just instantly restore relations with the people that you attack. Would be kind of nice. I don't, I, I don't know how, um, like pragmatic I suppose it is. I think I think with the way Norland is set up, just conquering things and just kind of moving right along seems a lot better. Ooh. Okay, there's a trade route that actually interests me. Being able to sell off our armors. But they really hate us. Alright, well, well, all we can really do is we can't restore relations, so I'm not really sure what to do about these guys. Maybe we just start a peace treaty with them. Plus 20 to relations. Alright, maybe we'll just do that. It's 700 gold. Quite expensive, but... That is something. Maybe our relation will be improved a little bit by Lyra taking out this bandit camp as well. And we'll just, of course, auto-resolve this. Didn't lose anybody, no surprise there. Didn't really increase our relations very much. That did. Should we offer them money now? We're, of course, spending a lot of money here. It is worth it, though. But the question is, is how long can we keep this up? Okay, that worked. Minus 16. That's pretty good. I'm actually rather happy with that. It's kind of surprising. Uh, looking at the whole map, there really isn't that many bandit camps. There's one over here. They've all got two soldiers, though. That's kind of odd, isn't it? Seems a little bit strange. The world is a little too stable. Uh, oh no, you guys are not smart. You tried to offer me a peace treaty and now you're going to attack our village? Like, what are you thinking? So anyways, we're, we're just going to kind of keep going through and just doing these offerings and things like that. Um, luckily, the offerings themselves actually just cost us the flavorful ale, which is totally fine by me. Um, but we'll go ahead and start talking about what our future plans are. And in the next episode, we'll go ahead and finish off Stardale. And I think that will probably be it. Maybe if if I notice... Oh, okay. Wait, never mind. I thought this would combine. If I see something like that, though, where there's like another four or larger um, city kingdom going... Um, then I will definitely consider trying to take them out. But I think we're at the point where if we have good relations, we're probably going to be way too big to actually fail at this point. Um, yeah, so I expect the next episode to be the end of this series. Oh, we got another bandit camp. We'll take that out. But uh, for the next series, it will be another challenge series. Let me know in the comments if uh, you aren't a big fan of challenge series or if you actually prefer them either way just yeah let me know what you uh would prefer to see i'm not bored personally of norland yet if you guys would like to see other games feel free to let me know about that as well um but i personally have what i think is a very enjoyable series that you guys will like a lot um but i expect that i will be editing it a little bit more than these normal series. Uh, I got a suggestion that I should try to do that, and it was already kind of a thing that I had in the back of my mind anyways, um, but for this next series, it's going to be kind of necessary because I don't think people are really going to want to sit there and watch me do all of the minutia for it. Um, without giving it away too much, it's going to be a difficult kind of a challenge series it's going to be about as difficult as I could try to make it aside from going after the um the unholy horde we're not going to be doing that yet maybe we'll do that later down the line but uh yeah so that is kind of the plan there 
and I expect that to be out sometime next week. Um, also, there was another update. I haven't done a video on that yet, but I do plan to relatively shortly. Um, the issue was there wasn't a lot uh, to it that allowed me to actually talk about it very much. Um, so I'm waiting for the next update and I'll kind of combine the two updates into one video. Um, and yeah, that pretty much covers all of that. So here we are, the trader now. And we're just going to sell off a bunch of this stuff we don't really need. Um, that basically just paid for our tax. We really didn't even have to do that. Um, and there's probably nothing here we even want. We'll sell all these prisoners now. Uh, we'll, I guess, buy a medical salve. No, actually, we'll just buy rings. And... More beer. Beer and rings. Okay, there we go. So yes, as for the most recent up update, uh, it basically made a lot of things more difficult, which is... Uh, actually going to make the next challenge series kind of interesting because it made anything on the hardcore difficulty mode a lot more difficult and without spoiling too much that is what the next series is going to have it's going to be featuring the hardcore difficulty something that we haven't played just yet um so that should be interesting if anybody likes uh just torturing yourself when you're playing this game, then you may enjoy seeing what, uh, what, what it is that I have in store there, so definitely check that out uh, when it comes out. Okay, so now most of our vassals in this area right here actually like us, and Amrower, he actually likes us quite a bit. We could actually start a trade with him. Might as well, I guess, but we don't really need iron. That was kind of something I was thinking, but... Hold on, actually we do have enough wood now, we can start a bit of coal. Um, I guess we could just sell medical cells. We don't really have more being produced right now is the issue with that. Maybe try and purchase herbs then? Since we don't have the tools. Okay, we can do that. Now we are going to go ahead and send... Lyra over to this village defense. Wow, she she has an inspiration right now, so she's, she's actually got 20 command. Incredible. Now, how many soldiers does Stardale have currently? 29. Okay, we'll match up. We'll just, we'll just completely match up. Wait, hold on. It won't let me click there. That was kind of weird. Okay. So, 29. Yeah, we'll send 29 of our own. Beat that, Stardale. Beat that. Looks good. I do not think they will be able to beat that. They are sending an attack now. Ten soldiers. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Maybe maybe it's because there's this mar marauder thing that just happened to pop up as soon as they sent that. Uh, maybe it affected the AI in some way. That's actually really funny. We could, you know it'd be funny if we just decided to assist them. Well, let's just assist you guys, huh? And we're, we're in a war with you, essentially, but here you go. Here's some help with your marauder issue. We're not going to do that, though. Now, we started one of our trades. Uh, looks like tree wood is being coerced into neutrality by Moon Realm. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. They are trying to mess with us. That would be kind of uh, an interesting way to end the next series, or the end the next episode, rather. Is if we are having to attack and uh, fend off attacks from Stardale and Moon Realm at the same time. They have 25. Stardale has 27. They're going to have 10 less in a moment. But they do, they do have... Actually, are we even going to make it in time? We're not, are we? Oh, well, that's kind of frustrating. I guess we'll have to just attack them directly then, huh? Oh, wait, hold on. We are going to make it. Yeah? Yes. Okay, just barely. 
All right, um, yeah, you guys, we're just gonna auto-resolve. There's no point in even putting any effort into this. Yeah. Not very smart there. Not very smart. Request for assistance? No. However, wow, these are... They're only getting attacked by 12? Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and go defend Treewood, though. Send Lyra to do that. Now where's Amrower's right here? He started this trade. Um, is there another trade or anything we really wanted to do? We do want to deal with deal with them. Maybe just a peace treaty. Another seven hundred gold. Just checking out Dust Valley, and it does appear that Amrower actually rebelled successfully against his father, or either that, or maybe his father just died. I don't know if there's a way we can easily check. Um, let's see. Doesn't seem like he pops up on here. His niece is alive. Yeah, well, it does look like he might possibly have killed his father. Possible. All right, and now we've entered into a peace treaty with uh, with Sparkville. And Wind Peak, doing good there. And now we should. Oh, we can't actually. Well, that sucks. Okay, so we still can't improve our relations there. Maybe we can have better luck over here in Great Mist. I don't even know what what is exactly the uh, relation threshold. I guess you have to get rid of the mortal enemy penalty. That must be what it is. Enemy, you might be able to. Uh, send them money, but not mortal enemy. That seems to be what's going on. And I think you need minus 50. So I don't think we're actually going to be able to do anything about Great Mist at the moment. Um, I mean, a peace treaty could be good to just do. But the thing is, is if they decide to leave, then it'll be much easier to take them back over if we don't. So unfortunately, that appears to be all we can really do at the moment... Uh, for people who hate us, we can go back, though, to Starstream and start uh, getting to better relations with them. So that's what we're going to do now. Alright, and Lyra has made it over to Treewood. Good to see that. Uh, at the same time, uh, we don't have much crimes. We don't have to worry about that at the moment. We could send Onetra. I was going to use this guy for this, but uh, he's actually got 15 combats. So we'll use him as a standard warrior. Oh, uh, we don't have enough weapons. That is right. Oh, no. Okay, we can't actually go. I was going to attack this... Uh, where is it? This bandit camp. But we'll have to do it tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and place another dormitory. I don't expect... It doesn't seem like a lot of the stuff is getting finished, even though there is plenty of wood now. I don't really know what the builders are actually doing at this point. Maybe it's just that we have them too far away. I'm not really sure. Do they have a range? Doesn't seem like they should. Maybe they do. Maybe they have a range that the builders will actually work in. So maybe this warehouse is actually useless for these things that are up here. I'm not too sure, but we do need another dormitory. So we're going to go ahead and place it just right here. I don't even think I placed that correctly. dormitory. Try to keep it aligned. There we go. And I guess we'll throw in a little road just for the heck of it. We do have archer towers. Now actually I, I do want to look at this and wow look at those ranges. Wow we can place one here. It'll never get completed. I'm, I'm certain of that at this point. Oh we'll place another one right there as well. Looks good to me. Okay, is there anything else? I don't really think that we need anything else at this point. We could place down another pig farm, but this one's not even being completed, so I don't really see too much of a point there. Most of our knowledge is also completed. Look at that. It's a nice list of knowledge, isn't it? Now, we were passing knowledge down, and I was expecting either Elsa or Amrower to die in the series, but it looks like we will make it to the end of the series, and Amrower will still be alive, as well as his second wife. It was only his uh, first wife that ended up passing away. 
It's not really how I expected this series to go. I expected things to be a little more dicey, but... Well, as you can see, it has not been much of an issue. But I think that is where we're going to call it for this episode. I think we've done good enough on the diplomacy side of things at this point. Nothing too exciting, of course. It is just diplomacy. It is basically just sending things and waiting for the action, but... Apparently, Enchantment and Moon Realm simultaneously want a peace treaty with us, but are also trying to attack us. Kind of funny. We're going to deal with that in the next episode. We'll take out Moon Realm and Enchantment. We'll take out Stardale. And then at that point, we may just leave these Westerners to have a nice and peaceful life without us interfering. We will have to see. But I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.